Welcome to this week's Ancient History News. In 1932, archaeologists unearthed a waterlogged Neolithic village in northern Greece that yielded thousands of well-preserved artefacts. Although it had been dated in the past using radiocarbon testing and by analysing the typology of its ceramics, a more accurate time period has now been pinpointed using dendrochronology and cosmic rays. In this video, I discuss this new study as well as some intriguing rock art sites from the eastern desert of Sudan and the discovery of an elite Neolithic burial in Germany. Neolithic site in Greece dated using a Miyaki event. Dispilio is a Neolithic archaeological site in northern Greece that was first discovered in 1932. The settlement occupied an artificial island on Lake Castoria from around 7,000 years ago. Excavations have uncovered wooden structures, more than 1,700 ceramic vessels, and bone artefacts including a flute. Its houses were pile dwellings, which means they were built on wooden stilts, and over 1,200 preserved pieces of these structures have been documented from the site's east sector. A reconstruction of these pile dwellings can be visited at the lake. One of the most intriguing finds from this village is the Dispilio tablet, which I had mentioned in a previous video on undeciphered scripts. The wooden tablet is inscribed with markings that appear to be writing, however they've never been deciphered, and even if they are the written communication of something, it does not necessarily mean they were part of a fully-fledged writing system, such as those that developed during the Bronze Age. Dispilio is a valuable site for understanding the spread of agriculture from the Aegean northwards, which is why accurate dates are important. Dispilio has been dated by the radiocarbon testing of charcoal samples. These calibrated date ranges indicate that the settlement was occupied between the Middle Neolithic around 5600 BCE and the Bronze Age around 2100 BCE. Now, a new study published in the journal Nature Communications has provided absolute dating for the site using a Miyake event in calendar-dated tree rings. Miyake, or solar energetic particle events, are sharp increases in the production of cosmogenic isotopes by cosmic rays and cause an increased concentration of carbon in tree rings as well as beryllium and chlorine in ice cores. These Miyake events are probably caused by coronal mass ejections from the Sun. Normally, dendrochronological dating relies on tree ring width records, which have been calculated based on the known dates of living trees and projected backwards hundreds or even thousands of years. However, this type of dating is constrained timescale wise, and records are geographically limited, which is why looking for these spikes in atmospheric carbon concentration in tree rings is more useful. In prehistory, two recently discovered Miyake events occurred in 7176 and 5,259 BCE, which means it's now possible for researchers to date preserved wood from between the 6th and 8th millennium BCE. In 2019, at Dispilio, the team of researchers mapped 900 wooden piles and sampled 787 of these for the first dendrochronological analysis. This produced a floating oak tree ring chronology spanning 120 years and an overlapping juniper tree ring chronology spanning 303 years. However, absolute data dating was not possible by this analysis alone because there are no tree ring chronologies dating back 7,500 years in the eastern Mediterranean. This is where the single year radiocarbon analysis came in, utilizing the known Miyake events. Out of the 303 year long juniper tree ring chronology, year 184 coincided with the Miyake event of 5,259 BCE. This meant the last juniper tree ring could be placed in the year 5,000 140 BCE. The last tree ring in the oak chronology was placed in the year 5311 BCE. The time between the earliest and latest felling dates spanned 188 years. This does not necessarily reflect continued habitation during that period though. An absolute date for the Dispilio village and other Neolithic sites in the region will help researchers to establish chronologies for the spread of agriculture in the eastern Mediterranean. Of course it is limited to places where 
where preserved wood samples can be found. The authors of the paper think this is the first time calendar year absolute dating has been carried out at a Neolithic site in the Mediterranean. Rock art mapped in the eastern desert of Sudan. Due to its aridity, the eastern desert of Sudan, also known as the Atbai, has only been sporadically and temporarily occupied by indigenous nomadic groups and foreign expeditionaries over the last 3,000 years. However, there are many much older habitation sites which show that the area must have been more hospitable during the Mesolithic and Neolithic. These sites are attested by rock art, ceramics and lithics. During two field seasons in 2018 and 2019, the Atbai survey project was carried out to document the carved and painted rock art in the flat desert landscapes between Jebel Rafi and Wadi Halfa. As well as identifying 23 new sites, the surveys found that certain motifs suggest the area had a much wetter environment in the ancient past. Associated finds such as ceramics and lithics help the researchers to assign a Mesolithic or Neolithic occupation date. A new paper published in the Journal of Egyptian Archaeology outlines some key aspects of these two surveys. For example, cattle pastoralism is only possible with significant amounts of water and pasture. So the many rock carvings depicting cattle in such an arid location are surprising and show that the environment looked very different several millennia ago. Other faunal depictions include antelopes, elephants and giraffes. The researchers also found anthropogenic carvings, tally marks, and scoop marks. Most of the paper focuses on boat motifs, which are significant because the area is more than 100 kilometers from the Nile River, and similar carvings are usually found in rock shelters closer to it. One such example is referred to as the boat tunnel. On the western wall of a rock shelter, the researchers identified six boats carved as if they are sailing in a flotilla towards the entrance, as well as three other motifs which are unclear. On the eastern wall, they identified one boat right at the back of the shelter. Care was taken in the style of carving, which was made to look like a relief, and a lot of effort went into making natural features of the rock surface part of the tableau. This shows that a lot of time went into creating the scene, so it must have been important. Important. The authors of the paper steer away from making any assumptions about the symbolism of such rock art. There are tantalizing similarities between these boats and the temple decorations of later dynastic Egypt. However, other motifs that might reflect ancient Egyptian religious concepts have not been found in the pre-dynastic rock art studied so far. So it's unlikely that the boats are a precursor to the Bronze Age depictions of solar boat symbolism or other related ideas. Although the type of boat is atypical, Typical. Rock art depicting boats of a similar style has been found at other locations in the Atbai. This flat-bottomed boat with curved ends has therefore been assigned its own typological category. The boats appear to be everyday vessels rather than anything official or ceremonial. It's possible the art was created by gold miners since there's evidence that such expeditions do stretch back as far as the 4th millennium BCE. It could be argued that the rock art was made by local Nubian groups such as the A group, who may have moved away from the Nile since grazing lands were still extant in the Atbai at the time, and these people may also have used the opportunity to exploit other resources there such as gold. However, the pottery found at these boat sites is a different style to that typically produced by the A group. It seems likely that a group of people normally associated with the Nile, whichever group that may be, moved into the desert area carrying the motifs associated with their everyday life with them. 6,800 year old burial uncovered in Germany. Since 2023, archaeologists have been excavating the Bavarian village of Exing in preparation for a residential development and have unearthed many artefacts from the Neolithic to the Copper Age, including this gold boat-shaped earring. Their most recent discovery is of a richly furnished Middle Neolithic burial. Dating to 4800 BCE, the individual was buried with food and drink, dyes for body painting, a stone axe, a stone adze, ceramic vessels, and a boar's tooth split in two. 
It's an important discovery since Neolithic human remains are rare from this area. The two halves of the boar's tooth probably made up a container. Hunting wild boars was a dangerous activity, so the presence of the tooth, along with the other rich grave goods, suggests the buried individual had a high status earned in their lifetime rather than inherited. The person was buried in a squatting position with several ceramic vessels placed around their head and a drinking cup placed in front of their face. It's likely that the individual no investigation has yet been carried out to determine the sex or age at death of the individual. The area was important during the Neolithic, with several large settlements, including Kurting Eichendorf. That's it. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to appease the algorithm deity with a comment. If you want to join my Patreon community or support me as a YouTube channel member, all the details are in the description below. Thank you very much to my patrons and channel members, and I'll see you next time.